So what we want to do now is start writing our SMS process. SMA process, sorry. All right, so what I want to do, I'm going to write and create a class for this. SMA, and we'll call it S. Okay, um, so we want it to scale, so we're going to be using two different variables. Um, uh, public variable, so let's call this days to limit. It's going to be integer and variable to hold our closing prices so let's call this closing prices this is going to be an array so next I want to set these variables to scale so let's start off with 20 and see we can we'll be able to change this number um, later on and you know closing prices assist this So what we need to do now is calculate the sum of a set amount of closing prices. And since we set our limit to 20, we need to look at the current 20 closing prices, calculate that sum, then shift to the previous 20 closing prices, calculate that sum, and then shift, and so on, so on. All right, that's a good idea. Um, we'll call this price shift shifter. And what we're going to do price shifter. Um, we're going to go through all the prices. So what I'm going to do is create a or for each of the to go through all the closing prices. But this particular P variable we're not going to use. We're just going through the prices before we can shift to each date. I know it's kind of confusing, but you'll see. Basically, this array shift will drop the first um, date that I was created a new array. So, call this shift the prices. We'll go around these prices and let's return this. Let's call this and see what we have.
screwed up some. Okay, um, let's print this out. Okay, cool. As you can see, we have an associate array. Within this collection, we have 20 dates. Now, we need to sift through these dates and pull out the clothing price and cal calculate the sum. Okay, so now we can use the associate array to calculate the sum of the clothing prices. This is going to be our limit. Closing price, closing price, number four. Okay, um, we know the closing price is in the fourth position, so um, let's build an associate array with only the closing prices. Now, since we have a set of closing prices, our next step is to calculate the sum and divide it by our limit to get the average. Um, but we can do that in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.